The Freiburg University Library had to be rebuilt when it was discovered that there was asbestos in the walls. It was a good opportunity to redesign a building that had been an unattractive concrete block, originally built in the 70s. After an international competition, De Gello architects from Switzerland won for their design to turn this concrete block into a glass palace. We wanted to solve two problems. One's the energy problem, but the other one is the, the city planning aspect of the library, because it was too big, it was too uh, enormous for this site, and uh, we want to, to make it fit in better into the, the site. The new design retains some of the original columns and basic structure of the old building, but replaces much of the concrete with glass. As well as adding much needed light, the polygonal structure also adds a dynamism and perspective to the building. But creating such a building out of an old structure posed many challenges. Top of the list was protecting the 3.5 million books which remained underground. At this construction site, one challenge comes after the other. In the beginning we had to be careful with the library books. Construction was difficult on the second and third subterranean levels, as there were still three and a half million books stored there. We had to take care that they would stay dry at all times. Sealing the area was a really special challenge. In our original design, there were 14 incline supporting columns, and these would have been founded in the third subterranean level. This would have caused a considerable security issue and a restriction in the book operations in the underlying levels. Through some clever redesign, we managed to reduce the number to only three columns which had to be grounded underneath. The load of the other columns could be redirected through horizontal wall panels onto the existing column grid. The full excavation process had to be done by hand and brought upstairs with wheelbarrows. The building pit was made by hand and also the new concrete had to be brought in with wheelbarrows. We have to, to fit the, the new uh, building onto the, the old building. So, uh, yes, everything goes uh, through all the, the technical uh, systems were already given uh, in the underground and we don't want to have it uh, uh, noticed that uh, there was existing something else. It should be like it would be uh, like this uh, meant from the beginning. So we have one picture and there is no uh, interruption into the flow of room and uh, yes, in the, in the design. In order to ensure some of the old building could be retained, an unusual high-pressure water jet technique was used to cut through the building, which was an exhausting but effective process. This partial demolition was then completed by pinching dredges, which pinched the material away, leaving just the staircase towers and some of the pillars. During the construction of the new building, a significant challenge was finding the right shutters to cast the pillars. To solve the problem, the team developed the shutters in situ. It was the first time that round shutters had to be built this high. What makes the building challenging is that it protrudes outwards. You basically have to cast the shutters diagonally into the air. We needed to ensure that we had a sophisticated scaffolding system to make the whole thing safe. We have floor ceiling of around 2,000 square meters, which had to be produced in three stages. You can see here the first area which is being concreted right now. Here in the middle section the shutters are finished so that you can install the rebar. In the third area, the north area, they are busy building the top of the reinforcement. It's a special project for sure. First because the building has a very unique shape, then because of its inner city location which is very challenging. I think this building will shape the face of the city of Freiburg and I'm looking forward to walking past it when it's finished and seeing the kinds of reactions it receives from people who go past it.